In a nutshell, tell us your story from childhood to now that puts a smile on your face. Abandoned at the age of 15, impoverished, malnourished, but unbroken. My life looked like one big dead end, but I turned it into a doorway, and my mental fortitude was the key to unlocking it. And it is my sincere hope that I can be here and inspire others to do the same. What is the funniest experience you've had with your closest friends or things that make you LOL? <laughs> well, I remember when I was spending time with the indigenous community of Misamis Oriental, I actually placed uh, a necklace as a headdress and the kid, all the kids laughed at me. However, I now know that what brings a smile to my face is regardless of where I put it, I should place it in my heart because we can be advocates for them and at the same time, we can be more emboldened to inspire and aspire to be a Filipina woman. Women's health and well-being is a major part of the Miss Universe Philippines advocacy this year. How do you encourage women to take a more active role in this advocacy? When we don't tell our stories, when we remain silent, all the stories will embolden the predator rather than the prey. And women should see themselves as individuals who are empowered, who are celestial in their limitless possibilities. And I think that as we take up space and assert our voices, we can not only help ourselves, but help others to do the same, regardless of who they are or where they come from. What advice can you give to a young woman for her to become more socially aware and become empowered? Start by looking within yourself. For me, I looked at how hard it was as a child to navigate the injustices that I faced throughout my life. I was alone in championing my own rights, and it is exactly this space that I've come from which encourages me to do more and to do better for abandoned children in the Philippines, for people who have been marginalized in society, for people whose voices have been convinced that they don't, are not worth to be heard. Lastly, from Lazada, if you were asked to identify one thing you love most about online shopping, what would it be and why? the impact it has on the environment. We spend so much time and resources going to and fro from one shop to another, and so I love how we minimize our carbon impact when we shop with Lazada. And given that how we need to let the earth breathe and how we need to embolden and enlighten ourselves on this very dire issue, I think this is what I absolutely love about Lazada. Progress should be sustainable and it should always be inclusive at the same time. Thank you very much, Annabelle McDonald.